What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Board Games. It's been a little bit. I uh, went to a local game store and saw this, Flying Goblin um, by Yellow Games. Um, I don't know that much about it, but I saw the back and I saw that there's some catapulting involved and what looks like a pretty cool setup inside of the bottom of the box, I'm guessing. So hopefully some cool components in here. Seems like a relatively short, straightforward um, game, but like I said, I don't know that much about it. Never really heard of it or played it. So let's look at what's in the box. <clears throat> so if you're familiar with yellow games, they're like King of Tokyo and things like that. Um, we got the King of Tokyo monster box recently. And the components are pretty cool, so I'm excited about what's in here. Trash. Okay, so get out of here. Let's open it up. Nice, <laughs> slow die. Oh, there we go. Okay, inside of the top, nothing fancy. There's a little King of Tokyo advertisement there for you. Ninja Academy available now. That seems new. Um, rule book. Pretty straightforward, simple. Seems to be four colors. Different catapults. Shows you how to set up the stuff. All right. And what we came for, the components. All right. So this is definitely like part of the box. We've got some stuff in there. Look at that. Ooh, gems. Okay, we'll get all that in just a second. But there's some stuff under here. So this is a separate little board. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. So there are trays. Oh, yeah, this insert is awesome. So there's trays in the bottom for all the extra stuff to go. We got some punch outs here. That looks like these are the player boards. Yep, one of each color. And then this looks like the tower that goes in the middle. Yep, yep. Folds pretty nice and easy. Cool. Let's see what we got here. A little extra token this just shows you what goes in there there's not that's not actually a thing like it just shows you that this is how it fits which is nice we got some more goblin meeples and some catapults okay cool um there's one of each player color green yellow blue red all right sweet so Cardboard coins, nothing to write home about there, but they are what they are. These are clear little gems. These are very similar to what you might find the red version in Quacks of Quedlinburg. These are really big gems, like two times the size of those. They're like resin, pretty cool. These are big goblins. I don't know if the size of the goblin matters. They're big goblins holding gems. These are little wooden goblins, little meeples with silly little eyes on them. Here's four really big wooden goblins with a little king in there. And then these are some kind of little enhancement type things, baskets or carts or something that I'm sure you figure out along the way while you're playing and then there's some tower tokens and all that. So if we put the lid back in, okay, so they match up. It does go a specific way. There's blue on the walls. So this is really kind of neat. You can't see this kind of show. There's a wall facade, there's the doors, right? So the whole box is game board. Then there's each room has things on the walls. 
and different colors on the doors. You have this tower, which fits on here in the middle. Yes. Like so. I don't know if I got that lined up with the right spots. Maybe not. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's two gold rooms and there's two kind of brownish rooms. But you line up the tower. That fits in really nice. There's an opening there. And then there's some series of events that happens where you fill these with things from what it looks like on the back. And then you fling your goblin in here and try to get specific things. So cool. Not this says five times for on the tower. I'm not really sure what this looks like it's associated with the tower, but maybe it's like who knows? We'll have to we'll have to give it a play and see what it's like. There are punch outs here. They come out pretty easy. The punch outs don't seem to be used for anything. It's just like you're clearing the space for these other wooden pieces, I would assume. There you go. That's what a game board looks like. It's only one-sided. But anyway, um, like I said, I don't know a ton about this. It looks like a fleeing, fleeing game, which looks awesome. Um, the art is cool. I really like the cover art. And then the setup of this box is what really intrigued me as far as a playing space and how it's um, colored on all sides and there's details on the inside. But then the selling point for me, as always, this insert is incredible. And I just realized something. There is a bottom to this. I did not know. Okay, so interesting. I don't know if the bottom has anything to do with top, but it looks like maybe you can change from one side to the other, or there are different versions of it. Um, but yeah, so it seems to be really well done. All cardboard, all very well constructed. Love the insert, love the little extra um, guidance here on that. And we'll check it out. So this is Flying Goblin by Yellow Games. If you wanna see more board games, if you wanna see more things like this, more unboxings, or if you wanna leave a comment and tell us like, we wanna see you play it and things like that, that would be really helpful for us because we like producing things that you wanna see um, and you wanna see more of. If you feel so inclined, a like and a subscribe would be really helpful. But until next time, thanks for hanging out with us, and we'll see you in the next one. GG's.